Hey guys, welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I thought I'd sit down and talk you through my evening skincare routine in a kind of go to bed with me style video when we just chat, we chill, I'll talk through the products that I'm using at the moment and share with you a couple of new finds that I've been adding into my skincare routine. Hopefully this will give you an idea of the products I'm loving, but also how to kind of piece them together in a skincare routine. And I'll be talking you through how to get the most out of all the products that I'm using. I want this to be a little bit chill, a little bit relaxing. I've got my pajamas on, I am very much ready for bed. So let's do this. Let's talk my evening skincare routine. Now, you guys know when I film these sort of videos, I am the worst when it comes to multitasking. So normally you see these influencers on YouTube lathering up their favourite cleanser and going to town in the bathroom, then coming into wherever they do their skincare and then layering serum after serum. I am the worst at multitasking and the idea of using, you know, water with filming equipment just doesn't work. So I have done a couple of steps off camera. First of all, I actually cleansed with the new fulvic acid brightening cleanser by The Inculist. I tried this maybe about three weeks ago, and whilst it's not like my cult favourite go-to, like holy grail, um, the oak cleansing bar by the Inculist, on those days where I'm a little bit oilier, maybe um, I'm a bit, you know, I've done a bit of sweating during the day, or I feel like my skin has been a little bit problematic. I'm having a lot of breakouts at the moment. I'm normally oily, acne prone. I go through all of that. That's just my skin type. But as you can see, a couple of breakouts at the moment. So I thought, well, let's give this a go. Brightening might help with some of the pigmentation left by this old friend here. This is it. It took ages and ages. it was like a mountain and it took ages to go. So I thought this might help. So I've been using this. It's really different and innovative. And it's got little specks of um, peat in here, which is where the fulvic acid comes from. It's designed to brighten the skin, but it'll also give a really nice cleanse. If you can see on the back of my hand, it's not too foaming. Um, so it doesn't strip and dry the skin, but it will help sort of manage that excess oil. I definitely say this is for people with oily skin. And if you have drier skin types, go for the oak cleansing balm by the Inculist. I've left a link to this as well with all the products that I mentioned below so check that out if you want to um, you know read about the products a little bit more check the reviews or make a purchase now we've got the cleansing done the skin is prepped and ready to go and a couple more steps which I did do off and I'll explain why I did them off camera is I applied my neck cream this is like I always feel really bad because on this channel, I love, love, love James Welsh, who is another fantastic, fantastic content creator and influencer here on YouTube. I adore him, literally watch all his videos, so soothing. He is like my number one obsession on um, YouTube. However, every time, every time this happens, every time he does a video on something, I also have a video in the pipeline saying the exact opposite. I, it's never done deliberately. And he recently did a video on products that are just a marketing con that you don't need in your life and that you just don't add any value. I actually did a very similar video, but we had very different um, ideas. I'll link my video up there if you want to check that out. But in his video, he said neck creams. Total waste of money. I always, always thought this. I never, ever liked neck creams. I thought they were just marketing gimmickry. And then I realized all the products I put on my neck was just making it really sensitive. And actually having an all-in-one cream would actually be a really good option. So I've been reaching out and trying a few different neck creams and I've got a video coming up um, later where I'll be sharing some of my favorites. I applied this. This is the Oya Firming Neck Cream Hyaluronic Acid Vitamin E Retinol. All that you need for that area. I applied that on after I shaved. I usually shave in the night so I don't have like razor bumps in the morning. And then I applied this on. There's a reason why I applied it off camera and I'll explain it in a minute. And then I applied my Zuraline solution to the eye area just to help, you know, with those fine lines and wrinkles. Finally, off camera, I realized I actually have a whole lot of... Um, fragrance free elements to my skincare. Normally I love fragrance components in my skincare, but a lot of the products I'm choosing at the moment just happen to be fragrance free. Um, that's not ch choice, that's just what I happen to be reaching for. So I did give a few sprays of this. This is my shop room mist. This is by Desium. Totally bougie, totally unnecessary, but I love, love, love this product. Um, this is just divine. <sighs> It's not, I'm going to have a couple more sprays because why not? This is gorgeous. I kind of, I use it um, when I don't have a lot of fragrance in my routine, but I still want that sensorial around me. I spray this and it smells like it's earthy, it's grounding, it's calming. It's so, so good. You don't have to use this room mist, but I just think it's a top hack. If you are, if you have a holy fragrance friend, you're avoiding fragrance in your skincare, you still don't have to miss out on the sensorial. Like spritz your favorite room mist around and it gives you that sensorial element without having to rely on, um, you know, fragrance in your skincare. Now, 
All of that was a lead up to these products. The reason I applied a lot of things off camera is because of these. These are the anti-wrinkle patches that I've been using. Oya, which is a company that, um, they sent me these quite a while ago and I've been using them time and time again. These are like reusable anti-wrinkle patches. They reached out to me um, a couple of weeks ago and said, we're so glad that you're loving the products and using the products. And um, could we sponsor a segment of your video where you'll do a little bit of a demonstration and show how to use them? I don't normally do sponsored content on this channel. It's just, it's not something I normally do, but I thought this was too good an opportunity to miss because I'm using the products anyway, so why not? So I said, yeah, absolutely. I'm happy to do a demo because I use them in my nightly routine anyway. I know a couple of you have been trying, maybe not even this brand, but versions of these and been loving them. And the science is really great. Adding that, you know, barrier, that protection helps to keep the heat in, which will warm the skin up and help the products penetrate better. Also, so will keep um, the skin from wrinkling overnight so it um, minimizes the amount of creasing and the wrinkles over time. I've seen really good results with this and similar products that I've used and the reason I'm actually really really keen on these is because they don't lose their stickiness. So many reusable products you say good for 20 uses you get to like use four and it won't stick on your skin and it's a complete waste of money. I also don't like the ones that you use and then dispose because that's all that waste all in landfill I'm trying to be more environmentally friendly so this is reusable and they say it reuses I think they say it's good for um, between 16 and 20 uses on this packet, I'm now at 22. I counted because I thought I'll make sure it actually works. 22 uses and they're still good. I'm going to use them today. So let's get into it and I'll just apply these before we get into the rest of my routine. The reason I um, did all that off camera is because you're supposed to apply these on dry skin. There's no point putting them on wet skin because it impacts the adhesion. So I um, always make sure my skin's dry before I put it on, which is why I did the neck and the eye off camera. This is the neck one. They come in a great little packet like that, and you should keep them in this. It's um, airtight, so you might as well keep them in that. But once you peel them off, they then give you these like um, boards that you can then stick them onto, which is how you keep the stickiness. Um, they say to wash them, so basically just rinse them under um, lukewarm water. You can use a light soap if you want, um, and then dry them sticky side up. As soon as they're dry, slap them back on your board, and you're good for another night. This is the neck one, and I'm going to try and do this with as much grace as possible. I always stretch the neck up and then just slide on like that. It's a little bit of trial and error, but do you know what? It works so, so well. I love these sort of treatments. They add an extra element without costing too much money. You get extra bang for your buck from your serums. And I do think it's helping with the old turkey neck that I did see creeping in a couple of months ago and scared me just a bit. Also, after I shave, I get loads of razor bumps and burns and they're less noticeable in the morning when I try this, so that's all good. I'm going to take my glasses off because I don't need to be using them for the rest of this video and I'm going to put the eye ones on. See how sticky they still are and this is after 22 uses and they're still really sticky. I put my line on so I'm good to go and then I just put them on the eye contour. I think of all the ones in this pack, they do an eye and a smile line one. They This is like everything in one pack where you get... Um, what have I got in this one? I think you get the head, you get the forehead one, you get the neck one, and you get the eye one. Um, I love both of them, so it all works. I actually open these, just as a side point. They give you four. I open two of the same size. So I'm still using them because it still does the same job, but just, you know, be mindful that you actually open opposite ones. It's like wearing the same, you know, same size shoe on both feet. Never good. But put those on, and that just helps my zero line sink in. And I wake up in the morning, and there's no crow's feet. No laughter lines, it's all, all good. I've seen such great results with these patches already. I think I'm on my second pack now. And they're not break the bank pricing either. I also managed to wrangle you a little bit of money off, so click on the link in the description box if you want to purchase them. Get a free coin off that. It's not an affiliate link, so I don't get any commission for it at all. But if you do clock in it, it'll save you a little bit of extra money, and I'm all about that. Particularly the eye ones, I am absolutely loving, because I did notice that crepiness when I woke up. I have no inflammation, I have no puffiness, the fine lines are diminished, and I know quite a few of you guys have been trying either these ones or similar um, hydrocolloid patches and seen some great great results. Now I've done a load of faffing so my skin is actually bone dry and I never like to apply the rest of my skincare on bone dry skin. I think it works better if you have a little bit of moisture because water and um, soluble serums always are just a better going on to damp skin. They absorb better you get better results. So I'm going to refresh the skin with this. This is the liquid hydration by Geek and Gorgeous. I love this product. You've heard me bang on about this so, so often. It's got natural moisturizing factors in there. It's got panthenol to calm and soothe, and it hydrates you to the gods. It's win, win, win. You can decant this as a top tip. You can decant this into a spray bottle and then just spritz it like a mist if you're feeling super bougie. I'm not that bougie. I just put it on my hands and I dab it into the areas where I want that hydration. 
I avoid the areas where I have my patches because obviously I've done my treatment work on those already and I just dab that in. Let it dry for a couple of seconds and then we can move on seamlessly to the rest of my routine. I like to layer my products based on my skin concern. So the products that are tackling my first concern, like the, my primary skin concern, is what I put on first. Mine at the moment is hyperpigmentation, as you can tell from the big old zip. And we're going to try and treat that. I'm using this. This is the Neod Repigment, which I love. It's only small and it is a reasonably expensive product, but a little lasts forever because you just use it on the areas where you have that pigmentation. Um, and honestly, you see such quick results. If you want to deal with your pipe pigmentation like that, this is the product for you. If you want a more affordable alternative, Alpha Arbutin, which I'll link below as well, works really well. It just takes a longer period of time to see those results, but it's a fraction of the cost. So I always say with skincare, weigh up, you know, whether you want to spend that extra money, whether it's within your means to, or if you can't, go for that cheaper option. Just have a little bit of patience because it will take slightly longer to work. This goes on as a very, very light um, serum, and I just dab it on those areas where I have that hyperpigmentation. Just there, and I've got a tiny, tiny amount just on my forehead as some old acne marks are um, fading. This smells like croissants. I love this. Often people say, if it smells of like croissants, has it gone off? No, just smells nice. It's like biscuity croissant tea, but that's what it's supposed to look like. So don't panic and think it's not working or it's gone off if it does smell like. So I'll just pat the pleasure of using the product. Now we tackle the hyperpigmentation. So before we move on to another Neod product, we'll just let that sink in ever so slightly. I have realized I'm quite Neod heavy in my evening skincare routine. My morning skincare is much more varied. I try quite a few different brands. I'm actually gonna leave a link to my morning skincare routine up there if you wanna check that out as well. In the evening, I do splurge a bit. Maybe I am a bit extra and a bit bougie. And I do like my Neod products because I find they work really well for my skin. Next one I'm gonna add is this. This is the Copper Amino Isolate Serum. This is everything. This is so such, such a good serum. It is packed full of peptides and copper peptides, which are going to even the skin tone, hydrate, but also um, help to plump the skin, produce collagen, and prevent fine lines and wrinkles. So I am all about that. It comes in this beautiful blue colour. I find four drops are enough because it's quite expensive, so I don't go too lavish with it. I just apply it to the areas of my skin where I need it. <laughs> Anywhere, you can use this anywhere. It's not um, it's not sensitizing, so you can even use it under the eye area if you haven't got your patches on. But I find these Zuraline is all the peptide I need in that under eye area, so I save this for the rest of my face. Again, it goes on a little bit tacky, but give it 20 seconds and it'll sink in like that. We're moving away from Neod, and we go for a little bit of Korea now. Um, I like to buffer a lot of my products, where I worry that, you know, something which has a pH-sensitive um, component to it, like that copper peptide formulation, I don't want to put it right next to something which is coming later in my routine that has a low pH, because that can damage the product and how effective it's going to be. So I tend to buffer it. This is a really great product to use, and this is the V Green Fragrance-Free Nature Mucin Serum. It's a whole, whole posh way of saying it. It's like a snail slime substitute. I hate snail mucin and slime. I hate the sliminess. You guys love it and I never read anybody that loves it. I think it works so well for people to help even out pigmentation and hydrate the skin. It's packed full of hyaluronic acid which is why it plumps and hydrates. However, the sliminess and the association with the snail just does nothing for me. So V Green reached out to me and said, can we send you this as an alternative? I said, yes, let me try it. I tried it, fallen in love. Such a good product. I find a two pumps is more than enough. And it goes on like, a, it feels like a standard hyaluronic acid serum, but it does so much more. Again, I just pat that into my skin. I always take it to the tops of the ears, least glamorous part of the face, but I always think they deserve a bit of love too. And oh, I would normally, again, take all of this onto my neck if I hadn't used my standalone neck cream, which I just think gets that area. We don't forget about it. Put it on first, put your patch on, and then you can kind of forget about the neck knowing it's all dealt with. I put this on the face and leave it again 20 seconds. I always say the 60 second rule should apply with skincare. Allow 60 seconds for each step in your routine because that'll allow you to apply it effectively and let it sink in before you move on to the next step. Now we're moving on to the really effective actives in my routine. As I said before, I've had instances of breakouts. I go through cycles. Sometimes my skin's doing what I need it to. Sometimes I'm breakout prone. It's all good. I deal with it. And I kind of mix up my actives depending on what's going on. Because I'm just getting to the other side of a very active breakout. I actually went to the dermatologist and said, could I just up the strength of maybe my retinol and my azelaic acid? And she said, yes, absolutely. And prescribed me two products. Here in the UK, um, Adapalene, which is over the counter in the US. So different gel you can get over the counter. It's prescription here and it's the one I always go for. I love it and I alternate it with that and this which is the A-game um, retinol serum by Geek and Gorgeous. 
This is slightly lower strength, though it's still really high strength. And I alternate this one day with the Adapalene the other day, just to minimize the overall dryness, but still get great effects. Um, I also work for azelaic acid. And here in the UK, you can get a 15% azelaic acid over the counter. This is the Face Theory Azaclear 15, but you can get 20% on prescription. And I thought, I'm gonna push it and I'll go for 20%. The dermatologist I spoke to actually said to me, um, the difference, looking at scientific studies, there's not a huge amount of difference in terms of performance between a 15 and 20 percent and they don't do a whole lot more she said i'll give you the 20 percent to try but actually you're probably not going to see much difference and i didn't i saw zero difference in this product that i did with my face theory this has o in it. it's got added benefits it's nicer to use it looks nicer on the vanity than this old scratchy thing i just don't think the 20 percent is worth pushing it for when you can get 15. In the US, this product isn't available on the Face Theory website, but if you log on to the UK website, you can order it and they'll ship it to the US. So if you wanna get your hands on this, cheeky way of doing that is to log on to the UK site and have it shipped to you. Such a great product I get great results with, and I just kind of, I think that this was, I, it was worth trying, but I'm not gonna reach for it again. I think 15% is enough. With this, it's got oat in there. It's also got green tea, which is a fantastic antioxidant. And two sprays is more than enough. I always think go very, very gentle with your azelaic acid because it is, whilst it's calming and soothing, it will be antimicrobial, so it'll help to tackle those breakouts. It's also a powerful active, so you don't want to be, you know, using it on the eyelids or anywhere like that. And you will get a minor tingle with a 15%. If you have super sensitive skin, go for something like um, the Geek and Gorgeous um, A-Pad, which is a derivative. So the equivalent of about 5% pure form, much more gentle. Still great results, but it's calmer and more gentle on the skin. So that's, I'll leave a link to that as well if you think you have sensitive skin and you want to know where to start. Finally, I'm going to top it off with my retinol. A lot of people say, should you be using azelaic acid and retinol in the same routine? Absolutely, but I wouldn't start them both together. I would leave a good like month and a half between, start your azelaic acid first, give it a month and a half for the skin to acclimatize to it, then add your retinol. Because I was using both of them already, it didn't make a difference to me and I could use, you know, I could um, just switch up the brands and the strengths that I was using without a problem. But I wouldn't recommend you use both in a routine straight off the bat. This, um, today's the day that I'm using their um, A-Game by Geek and Gorgeous. One pump, again, is more than enough. Comes out yellow, quite a lot of vitamin A derivatives are yellow in color. Um, and I just, again, work that into the skin. I focus on my nose where I'm getting a lot of congestion and on the cheeks as well. And I work it into the skin. Let this sink in because you will see a transfer of that yellow on, if you've got white pillows like me, you will see a transfer of that if you're not careful and make sure that you give it a chance maybe five minutes before you put your head on the pillow for it all to sink in. And that is my evening routine. A couple more steps that I do always include, I like a good hand cream. I like something that smells nice and is a great hand cream. This is by Aesop, which is the Rejuvenate Intensive Body Balm. I use this in my hand cream. Smells, oh, so good. If you like the smell of the Sanskrit Sarpanins Cleanser by Neod, this is like it in a hand cream. So, so good. It smells bougie, it smells luxury, and just sends me into that gorgeous trance when I go to sleep. I also want to put on my forehead patch, which is the same, same brand Oya as what I did with my other patches. The reason I'm doing this separate is because I wanted to put more treatments on. This works so, so, just take it as red. This works better on dry skin. So I'm going to let everything sink in and put this on in five minutes. So I'll be right back. And I'm back. And we are dry, we are sunk in, and we are ready to go. This, again, peels off in the same way, and just put it on the forehead. This is the one I always mess up. You're best doing this in a mirror. Try and keep your forehead absolutely still. So don't have any creases when you put it on, because the idea is it irons out the creases. So try and keep your forehead as flat as possible. Put that on, and again, it's just locking in all that amazing work that we've done, keeping it snatched, and just getting extra benefit from all the products I put on. I love this. And what I love is I wake up in the morning and it's still stuck to my face. How many times have you used these patches and you wake up and you can't find them? They're in the bed somewhere, they're by your feet or something. These actually stick and you can just wash them. Like I say, just wash them with dilute warm water, dry, sticky side up, and then put them on, um, put them back on your board and you are good to go for the next night. Guys, I would love to know, have you got any tips and hints for me that you want to share? What do you think of my evening skincare routine? Feel free to roast me because, you know, Harper's Bazaar haven't come knocking yet and said, do your evening go to bed with me routine. Um, so feel free in the in the interim, roast me to filth in the comments if you want to add or share anything. If you want to purchase any of the products, I've left links to them all below. And there's a discount code for these fantastic patches. Thank you so, so much again to Oya for sponsoring this. I don't normally do this sort of content, but because I was already using and loving them, it's just a chance I couldn't pass up on. So click on the link below if you do want to save yourself a little bit of coin, um, use the link below. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, sleep well, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.